Leo getting ready to do your reading. This is the mid-month reading for Leo, September 2016, and I'll say it again on this video. I'm sorry the monthlies didn't come out. I had one of my three little dogs. One of them passed away toward the end of August, and I just couldn't do them. I was just, I had to put everything aside, and it was very hard for me, but um, I'm back now. I'm feeling really good. I'm happy to be here doing your readings, and um, I'll get started. This is for Leo. I'm going to try to say the name of the video it's for every time. Sometimes I, you know, a lot, I always meditate on your cards, clear them, and then I start doing it without saying it sometimes because I'm channeling messages or bringing stuff in or getting ready. Whoops, I had a card fly out, so let's go to that. Okay, Leo. All right. So you have the Knight of Coin, and it just kind of flew out as I was talking. So this is a nice steady action a movement forward, a message even, even though it's not a page, I'm getting a message, he's coming in with a message, um, he's going to offer you something. This could be work, of course. First off, it's going to be a job, a career opportunity, a promotion, work, uh, writing promotion, something that's going to come into you and there, you're going to have to decide whether you want it or not, and I think it's going to be good though. Let's clarify it. Let's add some cards around this Knight of Coin. Tower on one side, don't worry. And yeah, because I was told as I was talking to do clarifying on both sides. So something has happened. Maybe you've already lost a job, or you had some type of breakup, or but you're definitely getting a message in here now with the Page of Wands and the Knight of Coin. It feels like something new, like a new job. So if you did go through some type of major disruption, um. Don't worry, this is going to come in for you. It's going to maybe make you, some of you, I, for some reason I'm getting like this kind of a slower energy. He's going to kind of wait, he's going to hand it to you, you're going to look at it, and you're going to wait and think about it. Because the Page of Wands can sometimes be an energy that's uh, passionate, fiery, it's interesting. Maybe it makes you stop and think. Maybe you shouldn't stop and think. Maybe you need to just grab the opportunity when it comes in. You can't see his head. Um, so it's it looks good. I'm going to pull one more card for the Page of Wands for some reason. Let me just do the Emperor. So, definitely feels like um, a male energy around this situation. Uh, it could be something with, with law, it could be something with uh, banking or accounting. Um, But I feel like it's good overall. It feels like a very good opportunity for you. I feel like you're going to... I feel like you're not going to want to jump at the chance for some reason, but yet it's going to be a good thing. You're going to anyways because of whatever you went through. Because this either you were laid off, you were fired, uh, something happened, the tower you moved, and now you're going to get some new information in. I'm going to pull you an angel answer card for this mini reading. Yeah, it says you deserve the best. Reach for the stars with your dreams and desires and don't compromise. Okay, so that's kind of what I'm feeling. Like, you're, you've been through something, obviously, tough, an up shake, an up shake, upset, a shake up. Um, that was weird. So, and maybe you're kind of cautious. For some reason, I'm getting like this cautious feeling. There, for whatever reason, he represents something and you're not quite sure about it. And he has his secretary, his messenger ask you, send you that email. And you're not quite sure, but it's saying reach for the stars. If this is uh, something that you think would be very good for you, um, and again, this doesn't necessarily have to be work. This can be, you know, anything because the coins are something tangible, a move. So he can represent, you know, a lawyer or represent um, a teacher. It's anyone coming in with an information or an idea, something for you. Uh, it's saying reach for it. If this is something you really want and think that this is going to propel you forward and make your life better, then go for it, all right? So if, for those of you, this is a mini message that just have gone through this tower energy. And I think you guys are first one who's come out. The tower's come out for this month so far. But, um, and I feel like this is a very, this is a specific message to someone who's watching this. Um, so that's why I wanted to expand it for you. So take the opportunity. 
Maybe it's a little bit scary. Maybe the the um, opportunity makes you move. It's going to really shake up your life with the tower energy. It's really going to cause some changes, but it, you really want it. And it's something exciting and new. And, and the universe is saying, take it, grab it, go for it. Shake it up. Move out of your house. Make those changes and go for it. I could definitely read those cards that way. It's a good thing. So, all right, let me do your spread here. Three of Swords. Yeah, that kind of goes that Tower energy. Queen of Wands. There you are. Justice. Okay. Fool. Yeah, starting something new. Oh, he's upside down. Well, look at that. Okay, so let's clarify because the Four of Cups, I can read them in different ways as an opportunity coming in. Uh, you're not, you need to contemplate or you're not contemplating or you're not looking at the ideas. You're missing something. Um, three of cups, please. Oh, you're chained to an old idea. Okay. So this to me feels kind of like the message with the tower. All right. You're, um, you're not seeing something, you're heartbroken, or something happened that needed to happen, and it's possible you're not seeing an opportunity around you because you're chained to either old ideas, you're chained to old um, beliefs, something along that line. The devil, um, the materialism, materialism in this deck is the devil, so it feels like to me you're not really thinking things through. You have a new beginning, but you're not really looking at it or seeing it because you, you're heartbroken about something else that has already happened. And maybe you're too involved with yourself or thinking too much about yourself, and you need to start something new. Yeah, the Two of Wands, you need to start something new and move forward. Or maybe you did at one point with the Two of Wands, and maybe it didn't work out, so now you're hesitant to start something new. You're kind of sticking with the old way of doing things or thinking. Queen of Wands, please. Yeah, you're worrying. So you're definitely worrying. You're worrying about this. You're heartbroken. Um, but whatever came in and happened was meant to happen. All right? With justice, things work the way they were supposed to work. Um, and I know that sounds harsh, but, but it's it's kind of like saying your foundation is a new beginning with the fold. Your foundation is moving forward, but it almost feels like you're not seeing it or you're staying stuck. Okay, what is the... I'm going to clarify one more time. King of Swords. You're worrying about an air sign male possibly or someone who's just cold or someone who may not be, you may need to help this person or maybe you're hoping they were going to help you. Five of Wands. This is um, defending yourself. Um, actually it's, it's, it's not defending, it's, um, arguments, uh, bickering, not getting along, having conflicting ideas or thoughts also but in this deck, in this deck, they have him in his boat leaving. So that's kind of where I get the defending yourself, taking your own, uh, road, doing what you want to do not worrying what the other person wants. It's kind of a very different picture in this one. Yeah, so I see the story quick, clearly there. Whatever has you upset and you are making a decision and you need to, and there could be conflict around you with this, this swords person. And this can just represent someone cold and not the sign. And they're very focused, they're cold. This is, and they're, you know, this is saying start something new. I don't feel it's with this sword sign. I feel it's with someone else. Because this could be a job also. He could represent a boss or someone at a job that you're working with. Let me pour, pull one more card, Leo. Uh, let me show you the cards. Okay, out in the cold. Yeah, this is a very interesting spread. Okay, so this feels a lot like the, the information that came in before. There's something new coming in, and you need to grab a hold of it and don't look back. Because... You're kind of stuck, it feels like, in some some negative energy with someone else. Um, and it almost feels like someone is distracting you or what's going on around you is distracting you to the point 
of um, you're either staying in an unhealthy relationship or job and it's leaving you out in the cold whether this is feeling lonely or financially it's not for you know maybe the job doesn't pay enough I feel like you definitely need to start something new whatever's happens ha has happened you need to let it go and you need to move on because you're not going to see things clearly you're going to be stuck in the past is what this feeling is in this reading to me and you're not going to uh, move forward and you're going to be stuck over here in this energy and I don't want that for you that's not good let me pull another advice card for you from the angel answer deck what is the advice for this reading okay this is saying when you take excellent care of yourself everyone benefits and that's what I read off of this card it goes on to say it talks about a massage or a pedicure but the main message for this card because again I don't read the exact messages is take care of yourself just like the star card said what do you need what do you want um, I think you're focused too much on someone else or what someone else is doing or what they're doing to you and you're and you're spending too much time conflicted in your own mind or with them and you're missing good opportunities because of this either it's a person a relationship a situation or a job something along that line and you need to get rid of it. You need to take care of yourself and put yourself first in this situation. But justice has come in and done, and what has happened, done. It's over with. As she's saying, it's it's justice is for you to take care of yourself and not to worry about this cold person. The King of Swords represents a cold person. You need to be worried about what he thinks, what he's going to do to you. Um, I don't know exactly the energy there. But it's not necessarily good energy. What is the advice, romance card advice for this reading? It says very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So you need to decide if you're going to take care of yourself, if you're going to reach for the stars, if you're going to move on, what you want, what's best for you. So you need to decide and get, um, again, because your foundation, again, is the fool. Starting over, or starting, not over with this person, starting again, starting new moving on and unchaining yourself from this relationship or whatever it is because you're missing opportunities but like you're missing things they're not going to come in for you because you're in this negative energy this negative space take care of yourself go after what you want because you deserve it decide what it is because it's going to come in soon it's going to come in soon and you don't want to miss it okay this new beginning so it's a good reading Leo it kind of gives you a heads up it shows you the direction you're going but if you change it now you can you can change the energy and you can move towards something better something new and you don't have to stay here and be unhappy all right so it's a good reading in a way that it'll show you what what to do what to change what to uh, um, manifest bring in all right so take care of yourself and go after what you want and what you need in this life and um, here's this card reach for the stars all right, so I hope this reading is helpful. Hope you guys have a great month of September and take care.